guys thank you so much for coming to this live stream if you're watching the replay thank you so much today i'm doing an unboxing it will be actually like mid january to mid february i said i would do something like monthly but uh, I cannot wait until I come back from VidCon because I will have to so much more stuff that I got there. So let's unbox it now in a live stream and I think it's cool because you guys can chat with me and we can all interact with this and also I don't have to film b-rolls for that so I'm so happy. Thank you so much. <laughs> so yeah, I guess let's start. I have a few packages here and Maybe let's keep the bigger ones for later, because usually that's the coolest things in these. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, and uh, I know that some of you want to hear about the story of my studio that you will see here. So let's, let's do that. So, and so basically, I've been doing YouTube for maybe three, a little bit more than three years now. So it was last year. You know what? I will open them all and then we can open, uh, unbox them all. So um, last year, like a year ago, more than a year ago, uh, I really wanted to make something really uh, like go all in in YouTube. And I was using this room here this was our home office and then at some point I had um, I had a showroom with my uh, first brand and Fluffy Dory and I had like 62 square, square meters and then it was too expensive so I decided to uh, move back home and so I had everything that was in 62 square meters that I put in this uh, room that was here that we were already full because we were using it for like 10 years already and then so it was super crowded but it worked and so that was fine and then on top of that i had just my ring light that was the, and the tripod with my camera and i wanted to get more bigger lights like bigger bigger umbrella lights but i could never do that because i had we had two big desks here and i had shelves everywhere and stuff on the all the walls and then I said I can't work like that anymore for YouTube this is crazy and so I talked to with my friend and a friend of mine she said something like yeah you should maybe uh, make your own studio or something I said yeah I should clean the basement uh, so basically in Switzerland what we have for basement is like a small thing like maybe two meter wide and three meter long and you have a door and this is this is tiny and people have their stuff there, I guess. Uh, junk and the things they don't use often and their skis and stuff like that. Ooh. And um, you have to go, kitty cats. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Bye bye. And then, yeah, I said, okay, let's do that. Let's clean the this and transform it into uh studio and i was so happy about that and then i talked to my boyfriend about that because we had to i mean clean the basement and uh, do something with that yeah the cellar no skis necessary in berlin okay in switzerland we do and i don't even have some myself anymore um i only have my boyfriend's skis in there and the yeah okay basically he said i like the idea of having your own studio but maybe the cellar is not the best place maybe you could take this office room that we have and turn it into a studio and then i said but are you sure and everything and say yeah i believe in you and you can do that and so what we did is that we had a bedroom and in the bedroom we pushed the bed um Oh, I missed it. The style of basement. Um, um, basement is for the cellar day before red refrigerators. Yeah, basically, if it was a very like big house, it would be super cool down there in Switzerland. It's just cool because they don't heat it. And so if you live in a big apartment building, you'll have tons of 
long, long corridors with tons of uh, alleys and those boxes and uh, everybody have their stuff there. So I live now in a smaller house with the only four apartments. So we have only, I think only two sellers there. You wouldn't know where to ski there. You can always travel to ski, I don't know. Anyways, uh, and so yeah, my boyfriend said, let's move that. And so what we did, it took us one year to build that studio actually. So then the first step was to move the desks, our two home office. Uh, home offices and my office actually was there and we moved that to the bedroom we pushed the bed in the corner and now we have a we bought a bigger desk and then it took me ages to clean what I had in my basement like all my childhood books and dolls and everything I sorted everything and then I had more space to bring everything from my company that was in there to the basement and um oh so you don't yeah you don't know how to ski so that's fine and so then when we finally had space uh it took me ages to find out how to um which color i wanted where and so i did a photoshop and i actually i did a photoshop and every time i found a cute furniture or one step more i would add it to my photoshop and then i will keep changing colors and the placement and I had that Photoshop as my um, background image for my computer so I would see I would see it everywhere every day and then I will be like ah oh, yeah but actually I don't like that let's change that and so that was kind of cool because I could keep working on the project even though I was not doing any work and everything and then finally I pick the color and then um i paid somebody to paint and because we had to change the rug uh the rug was disgusted the the carpet and yeah it was not a rug it's just the full floor carpeted floor i don't know how you say that and paint the walls and also paint all the furnitures and so we could have done it but it could still have costed a lot of money for all the paint and taken us so many so many weekends i think the the professional guy took two and a half days to do all that and this is like it would take us so much time anyways now it's almost almost finished there's just one thing that i want to do i have closed the blinds for the um, for the windows so i have only artificial light uh, no natural light because when the sun comes it's a disaster and so now uh, I want to put cute pictures actually of this scenery on the windows so it's like I'm looking outside but I'm not okay so I think I said the whole story for the studio I hope I answered your question and all the packages are open now so I can just open them yay so let's start with the smaller ones that look more ridiculous and so then I will not let's keep this for later I don't even know where it is half of that Oh yeah, some of them are not ridiculous, but not that exciting. These are pin bags. So I keep having, um, losing pins, bags or stuff like that. And so I have transparent plastic ones, like rubber ones. And I have this here. I think you know what I mean, right? When you have pins or like this one, and sometimes you lose one, so then I can change. So exciting, yay. No, I think the rest will be more exciting. Uh, okay. Let's see what's that. Oh, no, that's exciting. That is less exciting. Oh. Yeah, so practical. Um, I tried a bunch of hats because I have a cute hat right now that is black and I wanted the mint ones to go with my new coat. Uh, yeah, so I bought a bunch. Uh, just in case and so I bought a bunch of mint hats but it's my coat is over there I think it's way too dark more teal than mint actually and then um, the issue that I had is that it comes all the way here and I wanted one that stayed here so I looked at different designs so I don't really know it's like Christmas I think 
I don't like consuming that much. I don't like buying so much stuff, but I end up doing it, I guess. So then, yeah, I have a lot of unboxing. I'm not that happy about that. Yeah, so I don't think I like either of them. And basically, I took three different ones. Yeah, they're all three different ones, but I'm sorry. This is square. This is not a cat ear one. Ah. Uh, Maybe I will just do some curry stuff on that and sell them because I don't think any of them will work. And actually, I have a friend that has a brand that's called Credit Meats, I think. And I should ask her to make a cool um, um, bonnet head hat for me. Yeah, maybe. And maybe she can make it the right shape because I have a small head or whatever. And so we'll see. Okay, um, okay, Bruno Bellamy, do you know that? Yeah, this is my favorite artist. He has um, square hat into cat ears by sewing the corners. Yeah, but I don't think they, I don't think they, they sewed it that much. Maybe we'll just make the shape, but mine, the one that I have is like a normal beanie with actual cat ears um, sewn to that. So yeah, let me see if I need to... Ah, yeah, maybe this one. I was editing the other one, did, and I was showing the thing that I was uh, going to uh, hide the other day. Okay, so Bruno Bellamy is my favorite artist. He has a TP, it's like a Patreon, and every month I receive two. Uh, one normally, Exlibris and uh, sometimes when people are super generous then uh, he prints a second one and this one is a mermaid but she's naked so i cannot show that on youtube so i'm so sorry bruno that i have to hide that even this one i'm not even sure if it's <laughs> yep so um, if you like his art you should try and uh, see his tp Small bags for winter. Oh yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. Ah, this one. Yeah, maybe I need to. Let's, let's keep this one. I'm trying to not hide the whole picture. Oh, this one is too sexy also. So yeah, this is one. And she has a very cute uh, lace on her top. But you won't be able to see it. I'm so sorry. But I love the color of the hair. So he always do, um, not for, um, yeah, the, the main one is always um, watercolor. And sometimes the other one, the second one is a previous one that he reuses and that it was, uh, I don't even know how to do this one. It's too sexy and too big, yeah, let's do that. And um, it was the computer colored, yep, like this one. Yay! Thank you so much, I like this one. She's a cat girl. Nice, awesome, awesome. So, two of them, because I was one month late in opening them. Hello, Florio! My boyfriend is here, okay. Let's, let's just do, Florian, did you get your machine? Did it ship? The, or I, I guess if you're here only that late, maybe that's it. Okay, my boyfriend is in a business trip and he's been traveling to Edinburgh. And this is the third day that he was there and the machine he was supposed to work on was not being delivered. So he was there away from me for nothing for three days. So that sucks. So I hope that he said I should be working and not be here. So maybe that's it. Okay, next one. Ooh. Ooh, nice 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 it's huge i didn't realize a little time very cold and dirty factory okay okay oh my god it's huge i never realized it would be so big um i bought it from a friend of mine that we're selling stuff and since it's mint and pink and ap but it's like huge but I really love it. It's gorgeous. 
and lace on. Totally my aesthetic. Maybe I can put it somewhere in my decor. I love it. And she is also the artist who does, yeah, Sarah Colombo. And she, he, she does Saranet. And you can find, you can also have your own print in, she has like kind of a doll that you can customize and uh, ask it special for you. So that's really cool. And she said, merci pour ton achat. Thank you for your uh, purchase. Oh, it's also super glossy and cute. Amazing. Thank you so much. So, yay. So, <clears throat> this is, I think, I think her name is Melanie. I'm not sure. This is a friend of mine from Germany. She was there at the uh, Kandersteg meet. And she is actually a chef, a cooking chef. And she made, I think she made it. Or maybe she didn't, did not make this one. I don't know. But this is a clock chocolate. This is so cute. Have that unicorn on the back. On the background as a plush. Is it like this one? This big one? Is it the back? Or which one? I don't know if I will eat it. This is, this is so, so delicious. Uh, so precious. Okay. This is cool. This is cool. This I don't know. Oh, this I know. So this one... I don't know. Pink bag in the shelf. Oh, this one. Yay. Okay, I need to drink, sorry. The pink paper bag, unicorn. Not this one? Or are you? Mm, okay. I don't know what to do with that. It's too dangerous. Maybe here. Okay. I'm so excited with everything. Okay. This is from Libero. Libero. Oh, so shiny. Everybody does the shiny card, I guess. I just did that for my new cards, too. Libero. And you can check them out here. And she, Carmen, was here with Liparo. I invited her to be, um, oh, that's so pretty. That's so, so, so cool. To be at the Japan cosplay event. And she had a cut store that was so amazing, but not my color. And she made a special one for me. And she communicated with me which fabric do I want and she bought a special fabric for me and now it's here and it's so gorgeous <laughs> of course it's mint oh it's so pretty oh, I love it let me see what the other mints that's perfect because I have so many different mints and so I don't know if you can see this is super cute textures almost almost likely to hurt and it's so soft and so thick it's amazing and so this is special uh, chiffon that has also texture. This is really pretty. And the lace on top. <gasps> it's so pretty. And I hope that it fits. I did not even. Yeah, I think it's big enough. Yeah. And usually my problems are with the cuffs, but they seem pretty big. So yeah, I think I should work. It is so gorgeous. I'm so happy. So happy that I got a special one made. And she made it just for me. Yay, thank you. I'm so happy. So I have to tell her. But I love it. It's gorgeous. Yeah, definitely not mint when I see it next to the next to the uh, hats. The hats are not mint. Yeah, it's so pretty. Okay. This I'm super excited about. This is a mint and pink wig that also has blue apparently. But I saw that somebody on, maybe it was the Cake Club Facebook group or something, commented about this wig or showed pictures with this wig and I asked where it was from and she sent me the link and I love it. Yeah, there's a lot of blue in it, but that's fine. And what is cool? Okay, it's, it's a split wig. It's a long wig though. I don't really like it, usually the long ones. But which is cool is this, those little buns. Oh, and by the way, 
if you uh, have broken things like that uh, I don't know if you know Alexa Poletti she does amazing video I love her videos and such she explained actually it's like a regular clip like regular clip and then it's just an elastic and it goes around and so it's super easy to just change it so this changed my life to know that it's like mind-blowing and so you have those two clips oh it's so soft it's so 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 soft and uh, so those two clips uh, really no you can clip it on the hair i uh, don't remember i think i bought it on aliexpress but you can get it from Taobao or wish or anything so i will put the link in the description if you want to know especially but i love it that's a bit weird that's so so cute that's so 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 cute and i was wondering if i would love split wigs with my outfit if it's usually i like to you know break from the the color of the outfit and if one side is is the same as the blouse and the other one not so i don't know we'll, we'll see but i think i love it so much okay this is kind of weird because the hair is so so soft yeah, it won't match with everything in my wardrobe, basically. Um, I don't know if they have different colors. You have to check. But look how these, they look way rougher. Rougher? Yeah, they're not as soft. Really not. It's like a totally different texture. I don't know. And it is the same color, but it's different texture. Not as cute and soft. But I love it. I can't wait to wear it. It's really cool. I just wish there were no, not this blue here. That's a bit sad. But it's only the, on the back. So no, that's fine. Because on the front, there's no, no. So that's perfect. I'm so excited. Awesome. And they give you a nice wig cap with it. Awesome. So excited. Okay. This one. Yeah, let's keep the one. I don't know what's for for the end. This one, I think it's a bag, or is it not? We'll see. No, it's not. Should I go with the bag first? Uh, we're going through my cord. Okay, sorry, I need to get back to that. Uh, wigs just don't suit me. Thank you, but you know, you can find wigs in all different shapes and length and colors. So I'm pretty sure you can find some that will suit you. I'm sure you can, but maybe you don't want to buy some to try if you don't like it. But I just realized that I loved wigs and then, then I'm buying a ton. But you should try, or at least ask your friends if you can try it theirs. Okay, this, I'm so excited about it. This is like the ultimate bag for me. It's round, uh, it's her shape, it's mint, it's glitter, and it's from AP, and it's huge. So when I saw that on one picture, I was like, oh my god, I need this bag. So bad. And then I saw it on this market, and I actually love it. Oh my god. And it's huge. And it's in perfect condition. I think there was one tiny, yeah tiny scuff here i don't really mind at all um the wig with the new blouse absolutely yeah it's the same tone and also this it's so amazing oh, i love it thank you yeah i'm really happy about all the mean stuff that my my you can see my room now and mint and pink really i you know, I'm kind of happy. Uh, I realized that even last time that I went to Japan, I was in Closet Child and I bought just stuff that I liked. And really, right now, I'm just so much focused on it should be mint or pink or something. And I so much love to be a reason to buy it in mint on pink. And then it's so much easier to take decisions to buy stuff. I guess we'll see next time I'm in Closet Child. But... I guess it's so easy now that I know where I want to go to, where what's my direction that I want for my wardrobe and such. So yeah, I think it's clarity. Anyways, oh my god. If you send this bag. Okay. Can you can you see how shiny this is? How glittery this is? Oh, that's 
so pretty has a pocket inside and yeah I was wondering it does have things here to maybe have some strap usually I don't like wearing my bag like that because I like oh well, I could do like that or I can even do that but I like to have both hands uh, free so usually I like the crossbody bags but maybe I don't know if it's missing or I don't know if it's like that but why would they put that if they know crossbody bag I don't that's fine I'm just not sad at all I love it so much I love it so much I that's perfect that's my new favorite bag oh my god it just said it's a little bit delicate because it's so check pretty so I might not take it everywhere but it's amazing okay so now this I have no idea what this is is there a dress I know what this is. This is exciting. This is an order from Wunderwelt. And so, so many people commented, you know, I'm trying to put together um, a starter pack for Lolita. So I'm buying, basically trying all the petticoats, like buying all the petticoats that people um, recommend. And so people recommended the ones from Wunderwelt. They have their own made petticoats. I had no idea, so thank you. And so, this is one. And then I bought other stuff on Wunderwelt. Oh, that's so cool. Let's open that first. I love it. Yay. That was super quick. I think they shipped in a week or something. So, um, Wunderwelt is normally a... Uh, second hand store and that yeah I think I think you do so what's that Ooh. okay so about this oh I would say here that it looks more sacks than mint but it would actually go with this and oh it would go with the yeah it's actually sacks I think but it's pretty it's a uh, Clip like that and so I thought that would be pretty I don't know where actually but it's AP it's gorgeous and this magical holic okay I don't know that brand do you know that brand is it a Taobao brand or is it a Japanese brand and it's a clip rosette and it has crystals here and it's mint and white and gold and it's lovely yeah so they have Wunderwelt and Wunderwelt Fleur so I think those were from second hand I think and then as a indie brand you can work with the Wunderwelt Fleur Wunderwelt is um German word and fleur is a French word and that's a Japanese brand and so that you can sell your stuff to them so they can sell it and so yeah the, uh, this is something that you can have on your hair and I I have a lot of um, angelic pretty dresses that would have that super pretty with it uh, to be a little bit more classic sweet and this I don't remember what this is this is heavy oh is it I think it's also from Angelic Pretty. Oh, I didn't realize it would be. Oh no, it's maybe not Angelic Pretty. I don't. I think it's from a studio. It was so pretty. Oh, oh yes, it is Angelic Pretty. Oh uh, yeah. It's a box. It's out of porcelain. I should not break it. And it's brand and it's gorgeous. Yep. Says I'm check pretty. And so I said it's me. It's pink and gold and white. And it will be pretty somewhere like here. Let's put it here right now, but yay! So pretty good, and then that's it. It was not even that long. It was uh yeah, Angelic Pretty, it's really my favorite brand, so it's totally magical for me for everything. Yeah, I'm so happy about everything. Yeah, sometimes I do unboxings where everything is pretty. Yay! 
Okay. Whoa. Okay, it is huge. So that's very interesting. So this is kind of like a lining that is on top. Or is it backwards? No, I think this is supposed to be on top. Kind of. No, 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 no. Okay. No, nothing. Yep, yeah, it was 5,500 5, yen. So about like $55. No, it's supposed to be like that. Sorry. No, it was just upside down. But then it's kind of weird. Okay, so you have a tiered uh, skirt and I think it's wide enough. I checked it should be wide enough for me. And okay, at some point, um, there's like kind of several ways to make the petticoat. I think I will talk about it more in my huge petticoat video that I will also do. But sometimes it's the number of layer they put this way. But sometimes they also put it so much like you see how much fabric they have on the side so that when you wear it under your dress it kind of goes inside on the outside and then you need less layer and then the dress actually goes here and then the fact that it goes like that then it makes more layers uh, more poof you know what i mean because that's really not that poofy you can see there's only like two this is uh one layer that is tiered and this is one layer that is tiered three times but by the fact that, that i have so much on the side and that it does this wave it does push the dress more and i think that's also what they use for um ariel and uh, aurora and ariel and this is a brand that, that i want to try too but i will buy it from taobao so i need to buy it uh, after this event when i buy more stuff for my booth after this event so yeah do you wanna see it let's try this let's remove my uh petticoat from me like steed that i don't like and that is not poofy even though i paid a fortune and let's try this new one um i don't remember if they had several uh layers several um kind of poof you know what i mean like um options you wanted more poofy or less poofy but then um some have and if it's the case i took the poofiest possible Ugh. so definitely it does fit me like steam monster pretty good yeah it's the um, Okay, I did the video about that. It's the poof, a hybrid poof monster because the poof monster is an A-line and this one is a cupcake. Okay, so let me put it well high. Oh, I should have compared with the other one, but also I know that this, uh, I'm sorry to be talking without my head. Uh, I know that this, oh, we can do this. A fluffy toy dress has a lot of fabric, so it needs a lot of poof to fill it. Some dresses have less, you know. But I think the poof is really nice. It's a little bit tight on me. Not too, too tight, but I can feel it here. But at least it will, will not fall. But ooh, I like it. Very nice and poofy. And fluffy toy dresses do have pockets. Mm. Yeah, I think it's not too bad at all. Definitely for a dress like this one, it gives a lot of poof. So yeah, it's a little bit tight. It does already after one minute, it's tight for me. So you have to check your sizes for. Um, looks nice for the price. I think Aurora and Ariel is even cheaper. Uh, it's definitely more poofy than this one. Okay, we're going to talk about petticoats. This one, the only poof is the poof is only made by the number of layers and I have six layers, but six layers of what? Well, this is it, actually. This is my six layers. And so it's actually not that poofy because the fabric is, which is good for this one, it's squishable. So you can squish it as much as you want for travel, for example, and then it will go back to its original frame shape because this fabric is not damaged by being squishy, but this one, since it's um, organza, then 
the fabric itself has some stiffness so if you squish it too much then it will lose its stiffness and then yeah it's more delicate as a fabric but my idea was to I need I travel a lot so I squish my petticoat a lot so I need a fabric that is not too damageable but then because it's so much tons of fabric it's so heavy so then it's too heavy to put in a suitcase when you travel and so that defies the purpose so i'm not happy and i paid like 90 dollars for that petticoat and i'm not happy so yep but at least i can compare and i can know which which is good and which is not good and so right now i'm spending so much money on buying all the different petticoats for my wear so i can make a huge ultimate petticoat compare video and hopefully it will be good and people will know how to find the bed petticoat uh, they only make a line i'm not sure i don't think they do i think they do also have i don't know i picked the one and with the translation that's so funny the translation of uh, very poofy usually uh, from chinese when you uh, translate for, in english it says violent so this is a violent petticoat so that's really funny guys i have finished my table is all empty so thank you so much for being with me in this live stream did you enjoy it uh, um live unboxing should i do more of that did you find that it was um sad that you did not see proper b-roll or not so um, my best petticoat i don't know because i actually i'm not myself happy about the petticoats that i own so i'm trying to find the best one so i cannot answer right now i will tell you after i have tried all the good petticoats all the petticoats out there i'll tell you which one i really like i have one i uh, tried from one from diamond honey it was definitely too tight for me but it was really cheap and really really poofy so it was good also if you're thin so yeah it works well with the latest loss. Awesome. So MK, were you the one to suggest the Wunderfeld petticoat? Maybe. You like both styles of unboxing this video. Okay, you don't understand how quicker it is for me. Spe okay, an unboxing, like we maybe spent an hour to do that here. It would take me an hour to film. Then an unboxing, a haul, anything. It takes me minimum three to four hours to edit. And then I will need at least one more hour to film all the B-roll. And so that's five hours of editing that I just don't have to do because we did this like that. So that's really, really amazing. Oh, no, thank you so much to spend the time out of your day with me. So that's really, really great. And I, I love actually live streams so I can talk to you. And it's not just me talking to the camera and I have people answering me and I can interact with my community and I really love that. And so, okay, something I wanna, wanted to say before, uh, somebody asked the question to me and somebody else answered and they said, it was, oh, I did not know it was only for Joella, not for everybody. And actually, I'm trying to find a way um, to have the whole community interact between each other. Because for me right now, it's really cool because I can talk to each of you because I'm small and not that many people come to the live streams. But at some point, I will have like hundreds of people in the live streams and it will not be possible for me to uh, talk to everybody. So if you guys can talk in and help each other and answers your questions and everything. So I think that's amazing. And I will really, I will really encourage that to um, help each other and uh, talk to each other. And because basically everybody here also believes that everybody can be kawaii. Also, we have all the same views and everything. So I guess everybody in the chat should be your best friends. So you should talk to each other. Let me see what they said. Uh, ah, more under the side. <laughs> no, she did not say more. In. Yeah, so basically when you're Lolita and you're petite, that's really, yeah, 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 regarding the petticoats, that's really uh, easier to find everything because most of the time people in Japan or even in China, some 
Chinese brand do plus size, but most of the time they do the free size and free size is always usually so tiny. So that's way easier. But also if you are, I'm not even that plus size, but I should always take the plus size option. So I feel like people way, way more plus size than me have a really, really terrible time finding stuff. So if I'm can help them find the good stuff, so that's good. So please guys, tell me how you liked this unboxing live stream because that's so easier for me. So I would love to do more if you agree to do that. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching the replay of the live stream of the unboxing for January and February. And remember, everybody can be kawaii.